Hello everyone, this is Jesse. I'm a consultant with Concentris. And in today's video, we're going to show you a very quick and easy application for the custom record type. Now, you will also find a blog in our website that has more detailed information about how to use custom records in all the fields. Uh, for the purposes of this video, we'll keep it short and simple. And we're going to create a simple custom record that will be used uh, on field visits. So use case scenario is you've got some uh, applications where you have salespeople going out or representatives going out to visit customers, clients, potential vendors, what have you, and you want to be able to record certain questions and pieces of information that will be useful to your company. So we're going to make this very simple. First step is you go to customization. Uh, usually you want to be an administrator or have permissions to this. We won't go through the permissions of it. Record types. And I'm going to click on the list view so we can see all the record types. I'm going to sample with the count here. And see there are many, many, many records here. So I'm going to click on new. You very well could have done that just by going to record types and new as well. Okay. And what you notice pop up, this is the page where we'll be able to set up the initial custom record. We're going to give it a name. We're going to set some rules. I'm not going to dive into all of these rules. I'll go through a few of them and then we'll set up a few fields. Um, and if you'd like more information, please take a look at my colleague's blog and some sweet answers that we have uh, attached to that. So let's say this is a dental field visit record. We're going to follow our standard naming convention, which uh, we start with an underscore and we separate them with underscores. And as you know, next week we'll name this CUSS record dental field visit. I want to put a description here. We're going to use for dental field visits. Okay. I'm going to include the name in the field. I want to be able to see that. And then we have a series of three permissions here. Show creation date. I'm going to put that on the record. Show last modified date. Um, for all three of these, we have the ability to choose one, both, or none. Right? So I'm just going to show the creation date and I'm going to show the owner on the record. We're not going to worry about the list right now. In terms of the permissions and the access, there's a lot of information here. Access tab, you can require custom record entries permission, use the permission list or no permission required. We're gonna make this simple, go no permission required. And the only change I'm gonna do here is allow mobile access so that the field team can use this on their mobile. Now, a lot of options here that we can look into. I'm gonna leave them all by default. And then we have the ability to add sub tabs, right? include sub list, change the icon. If we so choose, I'll use the default numbering of the record, right? So if we want to number this record and have it be, um, we'll call it a dental field visit as the prefix. And then we'll start with 007 and we'll allow override. Permissions, so again, here are the permission list. You can specify this to specific roles. Example, if you want just your field team to be able to use this record, you can do that here. Links, if you want to put this on a customer center, who you want to be a manager of this, and obviously translation. In this environment, we have English and French. Okay, so this is at its most basic level, how you set up a custom record. Now, we haven't set up fields, we haven't done any of that, but let's go ahead and save. And once we save the record, we can get back in there and uh, do that. So let's go find dental field visit in our record type. There we are, dental field visit record. We're gonna go ahead and open that. And now you should notice that we have uh, a few more uh, sub tabs here and more specifically the one that we want is fields. Now, when you're creating fields, which are gonna show up on the record itself, um, you may be tempted to say, well, I just wanna pull some standard fields, which absolutely you can, um, but at the same time, we must create it as a new field uh, very similar to what you would do when you create any other kind of custom field. Um, but in this case, what we're going to do is pull the information from a list that we already have. For the purposes of this record, we want to pull, we'll make it simple. We're going to do 
four fields. So we're going to start with the customer name. Customer. And very important here, you notice I've got list record selected. Obviously, like any other type of uh, custom uh, field, you can, we have a selection of items here, but I want to use a list record because I want to pull from the customer list. And this way we'll be able to have a drop down menu. So let's go ahead and save that. Okay, you notice we have that there. And now it's showing as a customer. I'm going to add three more fields pretty quickly here. So let's say we're interested in the annual revenue. Okay, again, I'm going to use a list because I've created this previously. Only reason I can use it is it's already previously created under annual revenue, and I have a list, a set of different values that I'm pulling from. I'm put another field here. We're going to call it number of locations. Okay, now this one, I'm going to have it be an integer. I want the user to actually enter how many locations they have. And the last field I'm going to have here is a product of interest. Also a list. Now, obviously to be able to pull these, you need to have your list created before. So we'll go ahead and save the record. Okay. And let's go and pull up and open that record. So dental files go visit. Obviously this opens the custom record, but if we go and select new record, it will open up the record that we created. Okay, and there you have it. You have the name, right, of this dental field visit. So it would be something like June 28th Dental Inc. Field. All you guys there, I accidentally Save that, and you notice here the idea of this is the prefix that we did of DFV7. Uh, but here, as you can notice, we can then pull in our, our customer information. We have the list to choose from. I can enter the number of locations and say that they are interested in electronic equipment. Go ahead and save that record. That is a simple high level of how you can create a custom record. Um, for details on other applications and how to attach these records basically to any type of record in NetSuite, uh, please visit the blog on our website. Thank you very much.